Indigenous groups of the U.S. and Canada are making efforts to restore the distorted bison population across Northern America. This comes more than a century after European settlers drove the species to near extinction. Our next report telling you more. Tens of millions of the bison once roamed North America's Great Plains. They were central to the lives of indigenous people. They lived here before the European colonizers arrived. At one time, there were millions of buffalo that roamed uh, North America, and all of these tribes, you know, relied on them at, at some point, whether that was for food or, or shelter uh, or ceremonies. However, this balance was disrupted by the European settlers as they started slaughtering the great herds. The ecological and cultural disaster can be seen in haunting photos from that era. These photos show a horrifying sight of piles of buffalo skulls. The colonizers and their firearms brought a new level of industry to the enterprise as hunters. The U.S. troops and the tourists shot bison and a commercial industry used it for their parts in machinery, fertilizer and also clothing. By 1889, only a few bison remained, 10 in central Montana, 20 in central Colorado, and few remaining in Wyoming. 200 in Yellowstone National Park and some 500 in Alberta. And it forced us uh, as indigenous people uh, to move to reservations and, you know, completely change our, our lifestyle. Uh, you know, fast forward uh, 150 years, um, you know, buffalo are, are resilient. Our buffalo are resilient, just like uh, we are as indigenous people. Fast forward 150 years. The Intertribal Buffalo Council has now restored around 1,000 bison to 28,000 acres of hills near the Nebraska-South Dakota border. About 82 tribes across the U.S. and Canada currently have an estimate of 20,000 bison in 65 herds. And the numbers continue to grow with the desire among Native Americans to reclaim the stewardship of the animal. You know, we're in contact with all of our tribes and we're able to take those animals and redistribute those uh, to tribes to either enhance their herd or start a new herd. At Badlands National Park, around 100 wild bison go through health checkups and are corralled ahead of transfer to a new home. They are then loaded into trailers and shipped to Rosebud Reservation. The other long-term dream of some Native Americans has been to bring back the bison on a scale rivaling herds that roamed the continent in numbers that shaped the landscape itself. Other common reasons are increasing food security, reclaiming sovereignty and improving land management. But the ongoing slaughter of the bison is still a major challenge. However, the scale on which the animal is used for commercial purposes is relatively smaller now. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.